morning, ladies and germs. And it is morning. It's not even 9 a.m. yet. We got a. Uh, I'm not even sure what the model number is for this uh, for this monitor. I got it off the sidewalk about four years ago, and uh, I got it home. I turned it on, and it, it worked. So I never bothered playing with it or doing anything to it, you know. And it's been on for the last what, four years. I think the longest it's been off was when uh, Hurricane Sandy went through. And we lost power for about a day. Yeah, tough, tough luck, right? Uh, and maybe the hour it took to move from Brooklyn to the Bronx. So, yeah, I came home after a weekend and uh, it won't turn on. I'll show you the symptoms and show you what, what's happening. And I'll, I'm pretty sure it's a uh, power supply issue. So, probably looking at bad caps to switch those out. Uh, but that's, that's my hunch. Because I remember about a week ago, yeah, let me show you some footage here. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that. Well, that's all it does. It gives me a, uh, here's the power button here. I t turn it on real quick, and it all it does is it shows DVI, which is the input I'm using. There it is, and that's it. It goes right back out, it does. So, yeah, that tells me. And besides that, what it was doing was, it was making this pop, 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 pop sound. And, um, no, they weren't going shots. It was, it was a display. And, uh, yeah, today we're going to, we're just going to crack it up. A little spudger here. I don't see any screws around here, so I'm thinking this bevel's just going to pop right up. Should not be a problem. I've never opened this before. I think that has to slide off because there's something else holding. There's a panel there. That's what was holding. Okay. Okay. That might be beer. <laughs> oh man. There's a screw right here. And there's a screw here at the bottom. Here. These cables here, you want to keep these in mind, so you want to you don't want to get these mixed up in the wrong spot. These will pop right out. But you don't want to mess up those alignment. The uh, and you don't want to break those. So I'm just going to try to keep those in order. Using the uh, the video input connectors as uh, as additional screws to hold those down. Well, that's a one eighth inch driver. And that'll just come right out. So just loosen these up and the unscrew. See anything bad yet, other than the beer stains on them? This input board here has to come out. I don't know if you can see that, but there's two screws under here. You can 
tell this wasn't rehearsed. Jeez. I gotta tell you, they got these things so compact these days. And they're getting smaller and smaller. Yep, there they are. There's two screws right here. Here's the connector here. These two screws, I guess, have to come out. Yep, okay. So we got the main cover off. Oh, yeah. I see it. I see it already. Let's get a money shot in there. Do you see it? You see it. I know you do. Just got right here. The rest of them look all right. They're both 1,000 microfarads at 25 volts. And markings. It's a, uh, original, it says CE, which would be uh, uh, an electrolytic capacitor. This is number 102 and 103. CE 103 and CE 102. The rest of them look good. I say we switch those two out and see if she, see if she fires up. Yeah. Yeah, let's just do that. I really don't want to fall in love with this job. I just want to get it done with, you know? I mean, it's not like I'm getting paid for this. I just want my monitor to work. Which is probably why you're watching this video. So let's, let's zoom out a little bit. Here we are. 1,000 mic and 25 volts. You know, and, I, and you can go higher in voltage. You can go higher in voltage. When you're replacing capacitors, you can do that. You want to try to keep the same value, though. Like, if it's a 1,000 microfarad, you want to keep it at a 1,000 microfarad. You could even go as high as maybe 1,200, maybe 1,500 if you wanted to. Or right, if that's what you got, that's what you got. It won't, it won't hurt it. You don't want to go lower in capacitance. You can go a little higher. You can go one value up. Uh, but keep in mind that the engineers designed it for that, but they also designed it for uh, uh, price. Which means if they're going to buy one capacitor, they're not going to buy 1,000 microfarad and another one that's 1,200 for the same value. They're just going to use two 1,000 or two 1,200 valued caps. You know? It's cheaper to order two of the same type of part than it is to order two different types of parts. Okay? Especially when you're buying in bulk. In bulk, you know? So... This way you'll see a lot of the same value components on the board because it's cheaper to buy them all in one, in one shot like that. Alright. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me get a snapshot of this. Yeah, so these are the two capacitors. We're going to switch them out. I got a couple of these. Uh, these are niche kinds. These are, this is the YYM series. It's a uh, 205 degree Celsius, or 105 degree, and you can tell it's a smaller footprint. Here we are. You can tell it's a smaller footprint, but the uh, but the leads will fit perfect. All right. So that's what I got in stock, and I'm just going to desolder these and throw them on.
light coffee filter. This is uh, like 90% of rubbing alcohol. Or 91%. Clean right up. I'm happy with that. All right, so there we go. We got a new one here, new one there. Get the back of the board all cleaned up now, and I'm just gonna slap it back on. Give it a test run. See what happens. I imagine this is gonna fire right up. It'll be nice because then I can go back to work. I think so. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is pop a couple of these screws back in there. fire this up just reconnecting everything here and very carefully not so I don't uh, hit anything bad while I'm in there let's get that first <coughs> get an idea where the power switch is before I start and hopefully we can see the screen here all right and power on. You get it? There we go. There it is. <laughs> All right, I'm back in business. Yeah, so there it is. All right, so I'm just going to button this up and we're going to call this done. Yeah, so, oh boy. So that's it, two capacitors. Now what's the power supply like I suspected? But yeah, the uh, the thing was is that I heard this popping sound uh, about a week ago. Yeah, I knew what it was right away, but I'm like, eh, just wait till it dies. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's exactly what happened. But, Yeah, I probably should have replaced it the second I seen that there was a problem with it. Because what that does is it, it creates a dead short on the board. Which you, you end up blowing out MOSFETs and all kinds of stuff. Just from a bad capacitor going short, that can blow out transformers and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, I, I know better and I, I, I just figured what the hell, if I can't get it back going, <laughs> you know, the hell with it, yeah, so, so that's that, maybe you can get your Westinghouse back up and running, yeah, I'm tired, it's, it's 9.30 now, so I put an hour into this, no, it's 9.30, I put a half an hour into this, Okay. Hopefully this video won't be that long. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep it under ten minutes, somewhere in there. But I'm not. I'm just gonna try to. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more informative about how, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and uh, you know things like that. Because I think that's. That's probably why you're watching this stuff, right? You want to learn more about it. You want to know more about it. And that's something I think I can do. Certainly. I mean, I'm not a good teacher. It's not something I'm good at. I'm good at doing this stuff. Uh, I'm not a teacher. I know how to do this stuff. Uh, so, I guess, watch and learn. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, 
I guess that should be the, the slogan there. Watch and learn, because I, I don't know how well I can explain this stuff. Alright, so that's it. Good night, ladies and germs.